Hi everyone, it's Don and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, the cruise lines are starting to figure out what they're going to do after the tragic bridge collapse in Baltimore. We also have a Carnival cruise ship apparently suffering from a flood on board. Also, we have Carnival saying, you know what? I don't think we have enough of those kinds of ships, so we're gonna order another one, even though they just ordered one two weeks ago. And finally, we have another cruise destination saying, hey, we need some more money from cruisers. Today's video is brought to you by Burmese. I was so excited when my Burmese swim trunks arrived that I immediately ran outside to see the sunrise and remembered I live in Canada and it's still winter. But don't worry, it won't be long and I'll be on the beaches of the Caribbean once again and maybe Santorini overlooking the Greek coastline and maybe even wear them to the chef's table. Uh, okay, maybe, maybe not to the chef's table. In all seriousness, I am loving these swim trunks by Burmese. They are absolutely really, really comfortable. They're also made of a fabric that's sort of water resistant and dry really, really quickly. They're also stretchy and they even have a pocket in the back with a loop for your keys. Little conveniences like that. But one of the best things about them is they're also eco-friendly. Did you know that they are made from 10 recycled plastic bottles? So for cruisers like myself who don't want plastic in the oceans anymore, this is a great product to help put back into nature. Burmese swim trunks come in a wide variety of styles and choices and colors. They're eco-friendly. They have nano-coating water repellent technology for quick drying. The four-way stretch fabric feels really comfortable to wear, even when you're really active playing volleyball on the beach or anything like that. I actually went for a quick run today on the treadmill and I forgot I was still wearing them and they felt perfectly comfortable. There's no chafing, there's no scratching, they felt really, really good. A few quick notes about what they do. Well, they're eco-friendly and it's sustainable. They have nano-coating water repellent technology for quick drying. They have four-way stretch fabric, sweat wicking and anti-odor technology, performance fabric, and they also have a pocket on the back with a key loop so you never lose your keys and wondering what do I do with my keys while I'm wearing shorts all over the beach. Now you know, you can just loop them into your back pocket and never lose your car keys on the beach again. Once again, these are very comfortable. I absolutely have no problem recommending these trunks because they are some of the best swim trunks I've ever, ever put on. So if you'd like to give back to the planet and get yourself some high quality swim trunks, guys. So why not use my code DAWN20 to get 20% off at Burmese. Once again, I'm absolutely loving these shorts. Thanks again to Burmese for sponsoring this video. Currently sailing out of Baltimore, we have the Carnival Legend and she will be returning to Norfolk, Virginia instead of obviously going back to Baltimore as that cruise port is closed until the cleanup operations and they reopen and figure everything they're going to do there. Again, thoughts and prayers go out to everybody involved in that situation. It is, uh, you know, just horrible what happened there. We also uh, now know that they say that once they return to Norfolk, the current voyage, they are providing free buses for people to get back to Baltimore if they have flights and everything or just returning to Baltimore. Carnival's looking after that and helping to make arrangements if anyone has to make their flights later or anything along those lines. So they're looking after people as best they can and they say ongoing it looks like that's probably where they're going to start to sail from currently going forward but no firm firm commitment has been done there we have two other cruise lines that sail out of baltimore one is norwegian cruise line but they're not set to return until roughly september the other cruise line sailing out of Baltimore is Royal Caribbean who has vision of the seas and they have not quite yet made up their decision, final anyway, of where they're going to be placing that ship and the, the passengers who are currently on board. I'll let you know as soon as I find out from them. We're also now getting reports in from the Carnival Sunrise where she was on her way back from a five-day cruise to Miami 
the night, uh, Friday night into Saturday morning when passengers woke up with two to four inches of water on their stateroom floor and they opened it up in the hallways and you could see that the halls were flooding as well. The announcement came on to get to your muster station. So people gathered up their belongings, went to their separate muster stations, and eventually were told that they did have uh, flooding following what seems like heavy rain caused the flooding, uh, but apparently it's pretty substantial. Now, Carnival said that their next sailing on the Sunrise, they've had to close off many of the cabins that were damaged to replace the carpet, dry them out, etc. They have also said that all passengers who are affected have been offered full refunds plus a 25% future cruise credit. Um, other passengers who were on board during this incident have been offered a 25% future cruise credit as well as told to file anything for damages such as clothing, suitcases, etc. So it looks like they are trying to look after people as best they can. Again, another unfortunate incident happening on Carnival. They're having like a bunch of stuff happening right now. In brighter news for Carnival, it looks like they're doing well. They say their financials are looking so good that, well, we are going to order a fifth XL class ship. I like to call it the Mardi Gras class. And uh, they, that comes just after two weeks of saying that they're ordering a fourth XL class. This, of course, is an LNG ship. It has all the modern technology. It also reduces the carbon footprint of Carnival Cruise Lines for everybody who's into the ecology. And it, it looks like they're doing well right now. Now, one thing Carnival did say, they just raised their forecast on how much they think they're going to earn in 2024. But a warning also came out that because of the Baltimore incident, they could lose another $10 million in their profit estimates just from that one incident alone that happened. So, yeah, um, it, it's weird how one thing affects another and affects another and then the forecasted growth of a company is affected by another company having an accident. It's it's weird how the world works, right? But uh, good news if you're a Carnival fan of those large ships like the Jubilee and the Mardi Gras. Um, apparently, they're doing very well. They're very popular with passengers. They hold over 6,400 passengers at a time. And uh, it looks like Carnival's banking on these ships to compete with the larger Oasis class ships and the Icon class ships of Royal Caribbean. And finally, we have Haynes, Alaska. Well, their assembly there recently said, you know what, we're gonna, well, let's do some redevelopment and maybe oh, you know, expand a cruise destination here. Uh, we get some cruise ships in, but maybe we'd like to have some more cruise ships come in here. And while we're gonna do that, you know what? Let's start charging a new tax for cruise passengers per head, a new $8 per passenger head on all passengers getting off the cruise ships. So if you pull in with a cruise ship of 2,000 passengers, you could do the math. That's a lot of money and a lot of income coming in. And if they expand the port, they may get more cruise ships stopping in Haines than are currently done. They're not the big three, right? They're not Ketchikan, Juno, and Skagway, but they do get some cruise traffic. And it would be nice to see another destination in Alaska, especially if they set the cruise port area up. I'm willing to pay my $8 extra on this stop if, um, if they provide the support to the cruise ships that they need to make the passengers have things to do when they arrive and the actual port facilities are ready for them. I have no issue with it, but uh, yeah, it's just another place that says, you know what? Cruise lines are doing well now. Let's get some more money from them. Well, I hope you appreciate this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.